What's up guys, Jock217 and we are back to the LP of Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. Alright, sorry it took me so long to get back to this game, but you guys do gotta remember, I am indeed a college student, so it'll take me quite a bit of time to get back to all the games I've been playing. And I feel like I've been neglecting my Kingdom Hearts fan base for a while. I figured I'd feed them for a while too, instead of just my Final Fantasy fan base. I'm sorry, Final Fantasy Type-0 is a good game, can you blame me? Heh. <laughs> Anyway, so we left off here after Zexion find out that Riku is in the castle. So, as for Riku, the only thing we can do is continue, so let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Let's go. Yeah, um, I'm go I gotta say, I do indeed love my new laptop. Um, I just uploaded my episode of Final Fantasy Type-0 not that long ago, and that thing rendered super massively quick. And I love it. I will say this though, for some reason my freaking recorder, recording software has been having problems. I don't know why. I don't know if it was because the computer wasn't updated yet and then I updated it or if it's just the software itself, I'm not sure. But we shall see. Anyway, here we are in Agrabah. We already know who, which boss we're going to face here. Um. First, let's take a look at how big the map is. If it'll go, thank you. Yes, it is literally in the shape of a T. Dirty minded people, have fun. All right, anyway, so all you gotta do is go straight ahead. Allow me to show you the cards we have here. Pretty good cards, pretty good cards. And we get the Fat Bandit as our enemy card for this world. It deals more damage when striking enemies from behind. So yeah, we get rear strike or whatever. Can you give me a second, guys? All right, sorry about that. I was uh, adjusting my microphone for a little bit. Uh, it was too below me. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? And allow me to show you the heartless here. If Riku cannot strike the damn heartless, meant see, uh, I hate that so much. I don't get why Riku just doesn't attack the heartless when I tell him to instead of attacking the air. It's like, Riku will attack the air, but he won't attack the Heartless. It's like, seriously, Riku? What the fuck's wrong with you, dude? Oof. Yeah, these guys do do some pretty good damage, but they also drop some really good experience, so you're naturally going to want to take the time and go around and beat the shit out of every single Heartless that you see. Now, to prevent this episode from dragging, I'm not going to show every single Heartless battle. I'm just going to show a few, and then, uh... After that, I'll just go straight to the boss battle and then to the cutscene and all that other jazz. You know this. Chain of Memories is very, very repetitive. And I was also thinking about doing a top 10 worst game mechanics in Kingdom Hearts. And there is a shitload of things from Chain of Memories that are going to make it on that list. I'll tell you that right now. But first, I still got to make my uh, top 10 longest boss battles in Kingdom Hearts video. I am indeed working on that, like... I've been replaying 358 out of two days, recoded, um, this game, of course, Dream Drop Distance, like, I've been going all out, like, I've been replaying all the games so I can actually see which bosses, like, which bosses can make that list. Now, I already decided my number one and my number two boss for that countdown, but, and I'm telling you right now. Um, nobody's gonna beat number one. I can guarantee you that right now. As for number two, maybe somebody has a better chance. I'm not gonna tell you who they are, but I can pretty much almost guarantee that nobody's gonna beat my number one pick. At least at being longer. Remember, long battles don't mean hard. There's a difference between a long battle and a hard battle. Like, I know some pretty hard battles that can be ended very quickly, but that's by, like, cheating or something. Now, I know, and I know some very, very easy battles that... 
are very easy but take forever to beat and trust me my gosh the, some of those battles can just really really be time consuming for some reason <sighs> seriously why did they nerf why do they seriously nerf it in this game why oh well whatever Square Enix I, I guess Holy Burst was kind of broken in the PS2 version of the game alright uh, let's raise your HP Alrighty then, okay, well, once I'm done clearing all the Heartless in my way, I will let you know, so I'll see you at the Key to Beginnings. Alrighty guys, and here we are back at the Key to Beginnings here, and as you can clearly see, I gained quite a few levels. Um, if you didn't take the time to level up in Hollow Bastion, I strongly recommend that you level up here, because this is a really, really good place to level up, because trust me, later on down the line, it ain't gonna be that way. I'm telling you right here, right now, if you try to level up later on, it's not going to go well unless you decide to level up in Castle of Oblivion. That's all I'm going to say. Because later on, it becomes hell. Just because of the fact that you get random card values and stuff like that. You go with the cards they give you. And anyway, it is boss time against Jafar. Genie Jafar, to be exact. Do -do 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 -do. But since, as we all know, since Jafar is completely indestructible as a genie, we have to attack Iago and his lamp. Of course. Otherwise, how, how the hell are we going to defeat Jafar without putting him back in his lamp? Just like the movie. And with Riku, it's not that bad at all. All you gotta do is just simply hammer the attack button. But then again, what more can you do with Riku, right? I mean, that's all we do throughout this whole entire game is just press the same button to attack. Or heal when we can. Ah. Damn it! Too bad he's out of my reach. There we go. Iago better hope I don't go into freaking darkness mode. Did I, did I already activate Maleficent? No, I didn't. What's, what the hell's wrong with me? Alright, reload. Get over here, Iago. There we go. See, Maleficent makes that much of a difference, viewers. I'm telling you that right now. If you don't, if you don't use Dragon Maleficent at least once with Riku, something is wrong with you. I am serious. Just use freaking Dragon Maleficent, and I am taking a shitload of damage, aren't I? Uh, uh there we go. Here we go. All right, and die. Down for the count. Easy, 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 easy. And if I recall correctly, I think we're going to have two boss fights in this episode today. If I recall correctly. I haven't played this game in quite a while. So, I'm a little rusty. And we get Genie Jafar. Probably the most helpful enemy card in this whole entire game. Next to Vexen and Oogie Boogie. So, yeah. Those cards are very, very good. Genie Jafar, Vexen, Dragon Maleficent is Riku... And Oogie Boogie. Hook is Hook is really worthless in this game. I mean, despite the fact that it's second chance, it, he is still really worthless. Second chance don't do shit for you in this fight. In this freaking game. It's either that or I just don't know how to use it right. I don't know. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and go back because as we all know by now, with Riku, we don't automatically just get sent to the end. We actually have to run all the way to the end, which I find really, really stupid. But whatever. Maybe this is another game mechanic I'll add to my list. I'm not sure. But anyway, nope, the countdown that comes first is the top 10 longest boss battles countdown. That's the only one that's coming up next. Oh, okay, cool. We're already right here. Good. Excellent. All right, jump up in the air. Climb this really, really, really long ladder, and I believe there is a boss fight here. And I know there's a cutscene, so let me shut up. I take it you're Riku. Are you with Ansem? You are half correct. Let us say that he is not the Ansem with which you are familiar. He is handsome, and he is not handsome. Perhaps a nobody best conveys the idea. Riddles were never my thing. 
Try again. He belongs to neither the light nor the dark, but walks the twilight between. Oh. <laughs> Catching on now? Oh, yes. You also stand in between the light and the darkness. It appears we have much in common. Maybe. Like you said, there really is darkness left inside of me. But so what? Darkness is my enemy! And so are you for reeking of that awful smell! Oh ho! So it's a fight you want! Very good! I shall take you on. Alright, and it is boss time against this bitch. Again. Ugh. Yes, I do not care what people say. I hate Vexen. I I am dead serious. Nope. And just to you know what, just to add on. Oh yeah, I forgot he can block. Damn it, you bitch. There we go. Just keep attacking. Just hammer away. Nope. There we go. Just keep attacking. Just keep attacking. Ugh. Damn that shield. I'm swear to freaking. Ugh. Anybody else hate that shield? I know I do. No, you shall not. <laughs> Luckily, I can time that perfectly. Uh, Alright, now let's go ahead and get Dragon Lipson out here. Ooh, darkness! It's about to go down. Uh, uh, uh. Nope. Oh, you know Oh, I can't. Too late. Dark Fight Raga! Uh, perfect. Nope. Alright. Let's have some fun, shall we? First, I'll wait for him to use a card. Nope. Dark Aura. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I love that move so much. I have no problem spamming it. Nope. Oh, he's going to break it. Oh, okay. I'm surprised he didn't. Very powerful move there, as you can clearly see. Come on. Shemo. Nope. Heal me. Awesome. I think he's weak to Dark Fire Rider, too. I'm not sure. No, not really. No, let's go ahead and reload. Oh, you bitch. Dang, he got me out of Dark Mode, you bitch. Ugh, alright, whatever. Come on. Nope. Damn it. Come on. Dang it, I couldn't break him there because he had item bracer on. Nope. Nope. Oh, sweet. Darkness. Back in darkness. There we go. Die! And don't come back. Burn in hell. Burn in hell and get butt raped by Satan. Yes, I hate Vexen. I don't care what people say. I hate Vexen. He was a pain in the ass in this game, and he was a pain in the ass in Kingdom Hearts 2. I don't care what people say. He was a huge pain in the ass. That's why I hate him. Cutscene, let me shut up. <laughs> I find coursing through you there is a darkness of formidable power growing, well worth the trouble of aggravating you. All this excitement has provided me with invaluable data. What? <laughs> Many thanks, Riku. <sighs> it was a trick all along. Huh, <laughs> so, Vexen's up to something. Well, of course he is. He's an evil freaking scientist. I wonder what he's, I wonder what's gonna happen. Well, only one way to find out. Cutscene, let me shut up. Oh, or not. 
There's no cutscene there? I thought there was. No. 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 I'm already on the second part. Oh well, whatever. Alright then, viewers, that's gonna have to do it for this episode. So, what could Vexen possibly be planning? And what did he mean by gathering formidable data and stuff like that? Well, we will find out in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hammer smash and stab that like button to subscribe, of course. And we will see you guys next time. See you guys later. Be safe. Itadashai.